Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. So in this one I'm going to be showing you how you can add, remove and inspect HTML5 attributes using JavaScript. So on the page already is an image element. Now I'm going to open developer tools so you can see the underlying HTML here. It's just an image element and it already has an SRC attribute of unsplash.it forward slash 400 forward slash 400. So what this does is it gets a random image from Unsplash of dimensions 400, 400. So I'm going to be editing the attributes of this image element using JavaScript. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to be writing the JavaScript directly here in the console. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is to select the image element. So I'll save it in a variable called image. And I'm going to use the query selector here to select it by its element type so there's only one image in this document and just to check I've selected it correctly I'll log that element to the console here so here we have it in the console we have the image element okay so the first thing I'm going to do here is to add some attributes to this image element so the catch-all method for doing this is set attribute which you call on an element so in this case I'd say image dot set attribute and then inside the parentheses here, first you name the attribute you want to create. So in this case, I'll add an alt attribute to the image. And the second bit of information you pass in here is the value of the attribute. So I'll call this vote on a calm C. Now, if we have a look back at the HTML, you'll see now that an alt attribute exists on the image with the value that I assigned to it. So I'll also give this image element an ID. So to do that, I enter ID in the first position and in the second position, the value of the ID. So I'll say one, two, three. Now back in the HTML, you see that the element now has an ID as well. Now, in case you're not already aware, in HTML5, you can actually create your own attribute. So it doesn't have to be a standard attribute like alt or ID. You can use set attribute to set a new attribute that you've just made up. So for example, I'm going to create a new attribute on the element called credit. And I'll give that a value of unsplash because that is where the image is coming from and now that's been added to the element attributes. Now, if you want to get the value of an existing attribute, the method you need to use is get attribute. So you call that on the element. In this case, I say image dot get attribute. And inside the parentheses this time, because there's no value that you're setting, you just need to name the attribute. So for example, ID, that's going to return the ID, one, two, three. I could also get the value of credit and that's going to return unsplash in this case. And sometimes you might want to check if an attribute actually exists in the first place. So to do that, you use the has attribute method, call that on the element and you just need to name the attribute that you're checking for. So you can say ID, that's returning true. It's going to return false if it doesn't exist. So there is no class attribute on this element. So if I use the has attribute method on image looking for class, it returns false. So you can inspect element attributes using get attribute and has attribute. Now in the DOM, nothing's changed since we added the three attributes to our image element. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to remove one of these attributes from the element. So the method you use here is remove attribute. And inside the parentheses, you specify the attribute you want to remove. So I'm going to remove the attribute ID from the image. If we have a look back at the HTML, there's no ID on the element anymore. I'm also going to remove the credit attribute. So now there's only the SRC and the alt attribute left on the element. Now what I want to show you is some shorthand for getting and setting the values of HTML elements. So the way it works is you simply use dot notation to access a property on the image and you can set the value of it and that's going to set an attribute of ID on the element to 123. You can see here in the HTML that has been set. 
Now look what happens if I try to set credit and that was a value of Unsplash. So if I go back to my HTML, you can see that that was not added to the element. So this technique only works for standard attributes. But there's one more thing I want to show you because there is a special way of working with custom attributes in JavaScript. So if instead of typing image.credit and setting the value, I typed image.dataset.credit and I set that value to unsplash, that is going to set a new attribute on the image element. Notice that data hyphen has automatically been added to the beginning of the attribute name followed by the value that I gave to it credit followed by the value. Now, if I want to get the value of this new attribute in JavaScript, what I can do is simply say image.dataset.credit and that's going to return the value unsplash to me. So by accessing the dataset property, I can get and set data attributes. An advantage of setting and getting data attributes in this way, rather than using set attribute and get attribute, is that if an element has multiple data attributes, then you can get them back in one line of code. So if I create another data attribute now, I'll call this one library, and I'll call it outside. Now, if I log image.dataset to the console, you'll see that it logs both of the data attributes. Now, you can see that the data attributes are stored in an object. If you want to extract the values into an array, you can use object.values and then pass in the object. So image.dataset, and that's going to return to you. You can see below here, unsplash and outside in an array. Now it's something to be aware of when you're setting attributes that I haven't mentioned so far is if you set an attribute using either the set attribute method or the shorthand, it's going to overwrite any existing value that is there. So currently here we have an ID value of one, two, three. If I was to say image.id and I'll say ABC, this is going to overwrite the existing ID value and there's not going to be an error. But you need to be careful when you're setting attributes that you don't overwrite a value that you don't intend to. So for this reason, the class and style attributes in HTML, when you want to edit those in JavaScript, you have to use a special syntax for that because you don't always want to just overwrite the existing value. You might want to add a class name to an existing list of class names or you might want to remove only one that already exists. And also with styles, you might want to add individual styles without overwriting an entire styles list. So in the next two videos in this mini series, I'm going to be covering how you can edit a class list in JavaScript and also how you can edit the style attribute. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. It helps with the algorithm. If you've got any questions, I'd be happy to answer those in the comments section down below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel.